Smart 24 Driving Business It's 27 minutes to the top of the hour. You're still watching Smart Mains Business. I'm Andrew Barigi this morning with my guest, uh, that is uh, Nicholas Clever, as we are discussing matters to do with public data. But of course, before we proceed, uh, don't forget the markets on the Zabo platform, which are already opened. Now, you could be asking yourself, how should I be a part of this? Well, it's very simple. Start tonight to hash is the USSD coding there, and we'll avail you with a number of options where you will be able uh, to buy government bonds and securities for as little as 15000 you get insurance, but definitely you can still choose to invest more depending on what you feel like. Uh, but as I would simply say, is bring 15,000, let's grow together. Uh, definitely, life would be made much more easy. The markets open at 8 15 a.m. and they close at 3 15 p.m. Uh, effective Monday up to Friday, except from the weekends and the public holidays when these markets can't be accessed. But despite you have the rest of the five days to capitalize and make yourself quite significant profits and remember this week we had no public holiday so you had all it all for you to maximize and make profits for you but weekends the markets will be closed now zabo simply says my money my future and all Texas africa tells you do something new for yourself in the year 2023 well now heading back to our discussion with uh, mr nicholas uh, yeah. clever uh, debt management and I think uh, as we went into the break uh, there is this uh, bothering aspect of how how does government how does the government of Uganda support or regulate debt management uh, during the start of a fi new financial year and we, we, we also want to know uh, and uh, what impact does it have on individuals and businesses mm -hmm. at the same time uh, the government of Uganda, mm. definitely through Bank of Uganda, mm. plays a very vital role in creating and implementing policies, policies yes. that regulate debt management practices. Mm. <clears throat> uh, these initiatives, uh, the, the, the initiatives to promote financial literacy, yes. consumer protection, protection. laws, mm. and regulations mm. on lending practices. Mm. Uh, such support and regulations have provided a framework for individuals and business mm. to make informed uh, debt management decisions, decisions okay. and during the start, of course, of, the, of, of this new year. Mm, mm. Of course, uh, there is still a big challenge mm. for this information to be disseminated to the to the lowest to the lowest to the lowest okay. people. Yes, yes. Mm. But at least they are, the, the government has put those. Uh, uh, that, that framework mm. and uh, the policies that uh, can help uh, mm. individuals mm. to overcome their debt management, debt management. Their challenges. If you have issues, for example, mm. with the bank, mm. you can actually report uh, the, 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 the supervision. Mm. The supervision. So there, there are lots of things okay. that. Uh, actually put in place mm. to help out of the debt management mm. now in our discussion actually uh, in the first half uh, before we went into the break there is something you mentioned I don't know actually uh, it was I wanted to start with it at this new half but I think it's keep my mind but I remembered it right now there is something you mentioned about uh, these people that export goods uh, I mean that import goods from these other countries mm. from and you know some of them are from different currencies yes. and you know imagine you you, you, you got a loan uh, probably and uh, you, you, you delay to clear the currency, you know, the currency rates keeps on changing. Could that be one, some of the reasons, in your opinion, anyway? You, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes. Could that be some of the reasons why Uganda's date is really entering, it's becoming uncontrollable? And I, well, I do not In your think. opinion, in, uh, I mean, if we had to take uh, from that perspective, uh, don't give me facts, but on mm. your own opinion. Yes, uh, <laughs> my opinion. Yes. yes. I personally don't think so, but yes. I think here we, we, we borrow mm. and we don't, uh, we don't use actually the money that mm. has been given. So at the end of the day, you are paying for actually the money you didn't use. You didn't use, yes. Mm. 
uh, I was chatting with someone who was saying mm. they are they are returning money back to the treasury because treasury. they actually put. <laughs> <laughs> and this was this was loan money. So if yes, you don't yes, use yes. it, it means mm. you are actually cheating yourself. Okay. Uh, mm. So uh, I think uh, Uganda's problem of debt. Mm. I think it, there needs to be systems in place. Systems in uh, place. Systems mm. in place. Well, that's true. It, 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 the, I think the borrowing is a bit impulsive, mm. in my opinion. Which is true, by the way. It is it impulsive. Is Somebody mm. just wants uh, his minister is not working, and they just want to borrow. They want to borrow. They yes, want. Yes. No. Mm. Uh, in my opinion, the uh, managing Uganda's debt is mm. different. I even <laughs> want to want to talk about their many. They are they are they are professionals there to, to discuss that. But in mm. my opinion, really, yes. mm. uh, Uganda's debt. Uh, some of the issues we are having with it, they could have been avoided in the mm. first place. In, could have been avoided in the first yes. place. Okay. Wow. Uh, then now we come down to this other aspect of what potential consequences for individuals and businesses in Uganda if debt management is not effectively addressed and uh, or at the onset of the new financial year. Mm. 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 Uh, if debt management is not effectively addressed mm. at the start of this financial year, mm. individuals and businesses may experience increased um, financial distress. Financial distress? Yes. Mm. They, they will be unable to even uh, to access credit. Okay. Because nobody, see now we have this CRB. Mm. Nobody will be willing to lend you money if you still have an outstanding date. An outstanding date. date. Yes. Yeah, very true. So mm. Mm. as long as your credit scores are badly damaged, mm. then uh, there are dire consequences. Mm. Then of course we, there are also legal, uh, the legal consequences. Mm. So it is crucial that you prioritize the debt management to avoid all these uh, outcomes. Okay. It is essential to plan your finances by taking uh, complete control mm. of all the uh, your your money matters. Money yeah. matters, yes. Mm. If mm. you intend to lead a hassle-free life, mm. devoid of uh, stress, mm. you must be in charge of uh, of, of your debt. Okay. Uh, so it is easy to as it is as easy to assume that you can take all your expenses without actually managing your finances. Mm. This lack of financial planning mm. may not cost mm. you. Uh, it may it really may have very serious mm. issues. Issues. Uh, it must have very serious issues. Okay. Uh, on your whatever. On your on well-being. The, yes. Okay. Now, of course, now let's uh, take a look at any specific initiatives or programs in, in Uganda aimed at promoting responsible uh, debt uh, management during the beginning of the new financial year. Uh, for us, as uh, uh, as uh, as uh, smart skills, for example, mm. we are putting measures. We are trying to to have training trainings to sensitize the communities, the borrowers sensitize them. Okay. Please, if you are going to get a loan, these are things you need to look at. To look at. Mm -hmm. We are also looking at uh, training uh, training uh, graduates, campus yes, yes. Uh, campus mm. uh, campus leavers, because most of them, you go to the bank for example, mm. you, you, you find the, 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 the correctors are really not trained. They actually don't know what debt correction is all about. Mm. They don't know how to help clients. They don't sensitize uh, their customers, on, they don't help them on how to overcome debt. debt. Okay. They, do, they, they, they lack skills, mm. for example, to talk to a client who is stressed. Because they've been stressed, their business may be about to close, <laughs> and they, yes. need, they, they need somebody to give them hope, hope and, exactly. and tell them, mm. you know, you guys, you can make it. Despite the challenges, despite what you are going through, you can make can it. But make uh, it. Yeah. Uh, you find the bank, the banks are not equipped mm. with people who can help these customers to really uh, to to, re to reorganize them so that they can pay psychologically. Mm. So mm. it is something we lack. Of course, there is a absence of debt, debt counselors. People who can actually counsel you, counsel mm. you, and uh, tell you that now do this, do, do this, this, and yeah. this. Mm. And of course, again, the, 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 our, uh, the market being 
full of uh, uh, people who have not gone to school, mm. they are not they, they, they cannot think of getting a consultant. Oh yes, that's a true point. Yes, yeah. they cannot go to a consultant who can help them uh, overcome the challenges that they are going through. So there are quite lots of things that uh, we do. But as smart skills, we are determined. We are determined that at least we bring some of these services to the to the to the market. To the market. Uh, to the market that at least we can train people. Mm. Uh, go to the lowest cadres. Tell them those who are stressed. Teach them basic, basic bookkeeping. Bookkeeping, yes. Yes, because if you cannot measure, mm. then you cannot actually do business. Do business. Yes. Wow. You must measure. You must know that this is what you are supposed to do. So, mm. in the absence of that, you're finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe before there is something which I also wanted to inquire on. Probably even a business person out there is uh, is thinking through. Do you think failure for government to handle its public data efficiently through the right policies, how does it impact individual businesses when the government fails to sort the public data? It fails to manage it efficiently. Uh, do you, uh, in what way does it uh, uh, have uh, an impact? And what is the way out for these individual businesses which seem to be affected when their boss has failed? Uh, of, co of course, we look at government to be a, an example. <laughs> Ex Honestly, an exa we want, exactly. We want them to be an example to how we really perform. Yes. But of course, you see, it is a bit messy. Mm. Eh? True. So, uh, Uganda, uh, Ugandans are left to fight, to fight on their own. Mm. Everybody's fighting for their own survival, survival. unfortunately. Mm. Because the people who should be modeling are not being the what they're supposed, supposed to, to be. So, they are uh, everybody is actually to survive for the fittest <laughs> True. which is which is really bad mm. but uh we encourage individuals mm. to take it up to themselves mm. because it is it is you and your family that are suffering absolutely if True. the bank is raining in on you it is actually you you and your family mm. that are suffering it is not the government directly that, the, is, the, suffering. that is suffering yeah, so though of course we would appeal to government to mm. To, to, to help, mm. uh, to help. I really thank the president. The other mm. day, mm. I was told he's uh, waiving the, the, the interest <laughs> on some of the taxes yeah. that taxes, were yeah. uh, that were pending. You you go there and uh, the other day I was saying, does you are we are want businesses to close mm. 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 because before you start anything, they are ta they are taxing they are you, taxing this, you. And do this, and it's very exorbitant. Mm. You, you get it, but yeah. I thank the president. I'm told there is uh, they are going to, to to sign that actually some of those are waived, and we pay. So uh, as uh, we need to be cautious mm. as uh, business people mm. that at least we don't we don't fail on our debt obligation debt because obligation. we can mm. actually close. They can. It is very cruel that if you don't manage it, you're finished. That's you you cannot run business when you have not. Manage, manage your, your debt. debt. Perfect. Okay. Mm. Then uh, lastly, uh, we want to know how can financial institutions and uh, credit agencies in Uganda uh, contribute for better debt management for individuals and businesses during the start of the new financial year? Now let's look at uh, the, the stakeholders, uh, mm. the banking. You mentioned something uh, before we are off, when we are off air about loan restructuring you know, and all those perspectives. Mm. I believe, in your, opi uh, in, in your opinion, how do you see it uh, being... Uh, an objective from the stakeholders to enhance debt? Uh, yes. Mm. Uh, while mm. while uh, debt rest uh, restructuring mm. may help you as an individual, yeah. it can, yes, it can give you a longer repayment, repayment period, period. Yeah. but it definitely digs deep into your pocket. Mm. Uh, okay. Because uh, when they restructure you, they restructure the loan with the interest, interest. that they give you as a new facility and you have to pay. Okay. So it, it also, it's a bit expensive. Mm -hmm. What I would request uh, our stakeholders, the mm -hmm. banks and uh, all the whatever, mm -hmm. is to go down and teach people no. financial literacy. Literacy. Mm -hmm. People should not go to the bank only to be given papers, sign here, sign there, sign there, without 
explaining to them what they what are they saying, saying exactly. Yeah, but it, that's yesterday I was true. having somebody who came to, to me here, and uh, we we were we are, one of the banks is taking the property, mm. and uh, actually it is the wife who came here and was saying, mm. my husband never went to school, and uh, he doesn't know what he was saying. Signing. Oh, that's very sad. So. It, it would be the, the, the duty of the financial institutions, at least to, to guide these people. Mm. Guide them. Tell them the, the, the consequences. Mm. Eh? Explain to them the interest rates. The interest rates, exactly. Mm. Eh? Mm. Because it is really very costly for them to manage. So I would request as, um, as, as the, uh, the business community, I mean, and the stakeholders, mm. please to be mindful of that. And the banks can also help these people consolidate them, understand, mm. do the KYC on the person, mm. get to know who they are, who they are, mm. and help them. If they, you, if he's, if he has borrowed multiple times, mm. help them. Tell them that this can dig, put them into a big ditch. Okay. Then help them come up with a settlement, a, a good settlement plan mm. of the loan. Give it, let it be flexible, yeah. such that they don't die. Because if these businesses die, mm. you definitely also have no, bi no, no business. No business. Yes. So, okay. um, so the role the, again, it is a duty mm. of both government mm. and maybe us who are also uh, uh, participants mm. on the same platform mm. to come out and play our part. Okay. Uh, to play our part mm. and uh, encourage people, yes, to to to, to improve their finance management mm. such that debt is managed is effectively. Managed. Wow. Thank you very much, Mr. Nicholas Clever. Thank you so much. Yes, it's Mr. Nicholas Clever, Managing Director of Smart Skills, and we've been discussing uh, matters regarding uh, debt management. Hope uh, the information has been quite very uh, relevant. Well, as we sign out, don't forget on our social media handles at Smart24TV, that's on Twitter, uh, Smart24TV official, that's on Facebook, and uh, Smart24TV live on YouTube, where you will be able to get us at any part of the country. You will be uh, at, as we give you the letters to local and international business related articles. And also, we are on Smart Digital. Go on your Google Play Store, uh, type in Smart Digital, and download the app. You will be able to stream quite a variety of content, uh, you know. And a very interesting and very exciting aspect if you can't really have a screen in your home. You're on your smart TV, yes, get that application, the smart digital. You'll be watching Smart24 uh, TV and also at smart 24 TV dot, uh, smart 24 TV. that's on our website uh, where you will be able to get deeper, uh, of course, insights deep, uh, on some topics in case you want to research some business-related aspects. And, of course, also uh, the, on that site, there is information, updated new business-related information. I'm Andrew Barige, and uh, definitely till tomorrow. And uh, let me wish you a very good morning, but don't forget to be productive. Well, thank you for a uh, discussion right there. And of course, we appreciate uh, uh, Mr. Clever Nicholas for coming in and educating us more on uh, debt management. And of course, as he said, we uh, as a country, as individuals, lack financial illiteracy. If at all we could get that financial literacy, that, that means definitely we could have uh, at least curb this, uh, um, this thing of, of of debt mismanagement and of course debt coming debts coming in uh, as individuals and of course the country as well now we have uh, been glad having you uh, joining us you've been a lovely audience and of course uh, we love you uh, we 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 always have love to have you on smart men's business your daily kickstarter and now my name is masika Tsimi from the team and i uh, have a good morning and coming up is of course uh, we are going to be live from serena hotel well we're going to be joined with Siatini and giving us and digesting and giving us more information on what they have for us today. Have a good morning. Smart 24 TV.